So we're here at Columbia University for a major announcement that's really going to help this city move forward and help us recover. So we have a $9 million grant that will be provided right here for the Therapeutic Validation Center to do life-saving work. I'm going to turn to the acting president of the Economic Development Corporation for the City of New York. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor, and thank you so much for your support over the last several years of our life sciences vision. Um, we're so excited today. Um, so, you know, when I think about what's going to happen in the next five or ten years, it's going to be thrilling to see the hundreds of companies that can come out of here. Amen. And uh, Dr. Stockwell, talk about um, how this leads to bigger things. Uh, you're a New Yorker? Yes. Born and bred? Yes. Uh, yes. From Queens? From Queens. And yes. I know you love this city. I do. What is this going to mean for companies that can grow? What is this going to mean for New York City over the long term? So here's the thing, Mr. Mayor. First of all, thank you, and thank you to the New York City Economic Development Court for supporting this project. It's still really hard for early stage life science companies to prove exactly how new medicine works. And that step being so difficult prevents a lot of the great science here in New York from turning into new startup companies, new biotech companies. So the new center will address this gap by providing the equipment and the expertise so that we'll be able to see exactly what a new medicine does when it enters a disease cell. With that kind of unprecedented validation, of safety and efficacy, effectiveness of new medicines, we'll be able to convince investors to back more projects in New York City, which will create jobs in New York. So we're really excited about the potential for New York City and for New Yorkers. And I would like to introduce you to one of my colleagues we're collaborating with. And so you can see here the play, you can actually pick it up and look into it. It has 384 wells, and we can play it now patient ALS motor neurons or control motor neurons in each of these wells, mm -hmm. and then treat them each well with different drug. And that's something that we did together with you our doctors. Wait a this is quite, you know, for you this is normal, for me this is astounding. You put a cell in each and treat with different drugs. Sometimes you're able to do a massive amount of comparison just in this space. Yes. Just you can put the plate actually here right on here. the platform. Yeah, right here where everything else goes. There you go. So now So this gives you the advantage of <coughs> scale but also precision. But do you feel you have more hope about finding real solutions now? Absolutely, I think hope. I'm super excited um, working with Hennick, I think, with the models that he's created and with the systems we have here, and then with this new center to validate this drug really is safe and effective in cells, in the brain of a patient or of an animal model, that we have these tools that we never had before. And so we're really optimistic about this particular molecule, but the general process that we use. So you, you, is it fair to say you're seeing opposite? change the equation here that didn't exist before. Absolutely, absolutely. That's the idea. We're trying not just to do incremental work, but to really open up whole new systems. I love it. Hey, hold on. Don't, don't miss this. Get Mike back here. Yeah. If you give me the guns plates, what, what are we seeing exactly? So here, uh, the size of the cell is a person that analyzes. That must be incredibly excited to think about how you can tailor make yeah. a therapy compared yeah. to the world where it was like one size fits all. Right, this right. is important. Keep up the good work, and we're happy to be a part of it with you. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. All right, so good. We're going to do it for all then. Yeah. Talk about.